Greetings HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle and I have a video today uh, to demonstrate for you the uh, well what I consider to be an alternate solution uh, to having a GPS unit on our HP touchpad. Now you probably already know that the HP touchpad does not have a GPS uh, chip in it so as a result of that uh, things such as Google Maps uh, or Facebook uh, struggle because uh, well there's no GPS signal so what I'm going to show you today is my solution to that problem what I've done here is I have my uh, Android phone uh, I have the uh, Motorola Milestone XT 720 not a popular model uh, but it's the one I have nonetheless now this has been um, rooted and I have a uh, cyanogen mod uh, I believe it's 6.3 on this phone and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set your Android phone up as a GPS uh, transmitter so that way your touchpad can use its signal and I'm going to show you how to do this by uh, using free apps off of the market using Bluetooth to connect the two and then um, I'm also just because uh, I'm, I'm in my uh, office so I have my Wi-Fi here but I'm going to use the phone's uh, 3G connection as well for the uh, Wi-Fi. So I'm going to tether my tablet and then use Bluetooth to pick up the phone's GPS signal. So let's get started. Uh, first things first is you are going to need your phone uh, to have some sort of Wi-Fi tethering program. Now what I've used to do this is called uh, wireless tether and you can get it off of the market and I will show you here uh, on the phone. I don't know how easy it will be to see it. I will put some links in the uh, description of the video so you can see the actual products. And yes, I know I'm using an older version of the market. Uh, don't ask. So I'm using wireless tether for root. I have this installed and uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate that now. So I'm going to go in and I have a shortcut to it on my uh, desktop here. And I am, and notice that I have my uh, power uh, strip here, my power widget, and I do have my GPS turned on. And I'm going to go ahead and hit wireless tether. And again, there are other wireless tether programs out there. If you choose to use a different one, then by all means go ahead. But this is the one that I've chosen to use. So I'm going to click this or hit this here, and it's going to uh, start the wireless tethering. and I always get some sort of error but it still works nonetheless okay so now I'm wireless uh, tether uh, capable and so now I need to go into my touchpad and go into my settings and my wireless and networks and go to Wi-Fi settings and I have my Wi-Fi turned on and I'm going to just uh, toggle this here turn it off and then turn it back on and I have Android Tether, which I haven't named it anything special, so it's just called Android Tether, and I will connect to that now. Connect. It will obtain an IP address. Oh, and it's buzzing away, letting me know that I am connected. And I can see the, uh, and again, I don't know how clear this will be on the video, but yeah, it's showing that it's downloading and it's connected. All right, so now I have a Wi-Fi, a mobile Wi-Fi connection. So the next step is to go in and set up my Bluetooth connectivity. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to set the phone to be discoverable. So first of all, I guess I'll go into my Bluetooth setting settings on both of the devices. And I'm going to turn on the Bluetooth here, and I will turn on the Bluetooth here. And I've already done this, so uh, it already remembers the fact that both of these devices uh, are here, and it has uh, paired already. If you haven't done so before, what you do is you make your phone discoverable, and then have your uh, tablet uh, scan it. So you'll have the little uh, phone-ish looking, uh, I guess it's a, a Bluetooth uh, hands-free 
something or other, a symbol showing that it's paired. So both of the devices now say paired but not connected, and that's ultimately what we want to have. So now we need each of the devices to have an application, uh, the phone for transmitting and the uh, tablet to have something to receive. And what I have here is on the phone, I have a program called uh, GPS over Bluetooth. And again, this is something that I've gotten from the market. And, you know, I'll show it to you here on the tablet so it's easier to see. GPS over... Well, it helps if I put the space in there. All right, GPS over Bluetooth. And uh, I was hoping that it would show up. There it is right here, GPS over Bluetooth. So again, this app that I'm about to show you here is what I have on my phone. So this is what I have on my phone. I have the GPS over Bluetooth on my phone. So if I go into my phone and start up GPS over Bluetooth, my uh, icon up in my uh, taskbar, my notification bar, is showing that uh, the GPS is on and it has just achieved uh, signals from the uh, satellites. And what I usually do here is I go into the settings of this program and I, sh I change my Bluetooth settings and my time to discover to like 3000 just as a precaution in case it gets lost. Uh, there's pretty much nothing else you need to do to the phone. At this point, Bluetooth is on, GPS is on, this program is running, and this is now transmitting its GPS signal. Now, over on the uh, tablet, I have a program called Bluetooth GPS, and again, this is from the market, and we'll go in and take a look at it. Bluetooth GPS, there it is. This is the program that I have on the tablet. Another freebie off of the market. This will pick up the signal. So I'm going to go in, and, and it has a very handy widget. I find this very uh, convenient. But I'm just going to go into the program and show you how this works. Now, it automatically shows the paired devices that I have available. So the Milestone XT720 is there, and uh, unfortunately it only works in uh, portrait, not in landscape. So I'm going to hit the connect button, and it shows over here on my phone that it has connected, and very quickly I get all of my settings. So as it stands right now, my phone and tablet are paired together, and I now have a GPS signal and a Wi-Fi signal coming from my phone. So if I were to pick this up and go to my car, uh, I would be fully mobile. So let's see if it works. So I'm going to start up the Google Maps. And it appears to have found my house. Let's see if we've got it here. Yes, yes we do. So you can see that the uh, the device is updating, so it has the Wi-Fi connection, and uh, it is seeing that that's where my location is. So if I were to go out to uh, my vehicle and uh, keep the phone in my pocket and the device on my dash, then I would have a fully functioning uh, tablet with a nice big fat uh, map to take a look at. Uh, I have not tried the navigation, but I would assume that that would also work. That's it. That's really all there is to it. Um, this uh, it requires several applications. Like I said, I'll put descriptions uh, and, and locations to download these apps off of the market. It's all freebie stuff. Uh, if your phone is not a um, Motorola Milestone XT720, which I'm sure it's not, uh, then you can uh, attempt to do this on whichever Android device you have. If you don't have an Android phone, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, I would recommend that you go out and get one immediately. Okay, so this has been Reverend Kyle, and uh, hopefully this is something fun and new for you to play with, and uh, hopefully you'll have as much success with, w success with it as I have.